Hey, you want to give Quaker Church another chance tomorrow night? Not really. Okay. Why? Well, Maggie's car is in the shop, and I offered to give her a ride, so. It's 8.30 in the morning. You've already talked to Maggie. She needed a ride. You know, that place looked like it was full of friends who just love to be her ride. Do you want to come or not? Are you really buying into this? I'm not buying into anything. So when you went into that church last night, you really believed that you were in the presence of God? What I said was that it felt like a place of peace. Which it isn't here. Not a lot lately, no. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, sweetie, can you get your shoes for me and then I'll get you ready for daycare, okay? Thank you. It was just nice, Brent. It was really nice to be around some people who didn't think they know everything. And who thought there might be something more to life than what they can see and feel and, and be right about. Well, I feel sorry for you. You have such emptiness inside you that you need to fill it with something so ridiculous. You really don't believe in anything. You know I don't. Well, I feel sorry for you then. And I don't understand where you draw the line. I mean, the, the service is basically silent meditation. You meditate. Yes, but I'm not waiting for some mythical historical ghost with his shaming blood sacrifice bullshit to come and save my soul. I meditate to see the world as it is, to accept the world, to just feel alive. And you can't do that with other people? Not with those people, no. So if I get involved with Quakerism or, or whatever, because it, it makes sense to me, because it means something to me, you can't... Nate, you're just using this as a way to distance yourself from me and your baby because you're scared and you don't know what to do. How can I be distancing myself? I'm here every fucking night. Well, not tomorrow night. Apparently, you'd rather be with that sappy little ferret, Maggie. Hey! She is a deeply kind person. Oh. Is that what you're looking for now? A deeply kind person. Well, I know I don't want someone who makes me feel like shit every second of the day. If I'm so awful, why don't you leave? Oh, will you stop threatening me? It's like you think you can win every argument by giving me some fucking ultimatum. No, it was a genuine question. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving. Maybe you want to leave, but I'm here, Brenda. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> I gotta go to work. <laughs> 